we must have a force here, respectable force, an impressive one, that will deter all attempts, all actually eventualities of trying to destroy this peace process and the peace implementation. We know for sure that the majority of the Serbian population of the occupied territories has been, to put it uh, euphemistically, intimidated into cooperation with the forces of occupation. They are intimidated, they are afraid of the, for their lives. But I'm sure, one, the international community shows uh, its real determination by sending the forces in that will be a good signal for the population of the occupied territories to accept the peace and cooperate with the peace efforts. The Serbian nationalism will never be dead. But the negative Serbian nationalism has now been uh, well to a great extent defeated because the project of greater Serbia has failed. But nationalism can mean a lot of positive things. I think that there would be a reawakening of uh, the democratic forces in the Serbian national life and in, in the politics. And that the forces of uh, the fascist ideology will gradually, gradually <coughs> disappear. Bosnia and Herzegovina is, uh, has embarked upon the course of self-reliance, and as you well know, we have defended this country all along. And the international community came uh, belatedly into the theater. We have defended our country all along with meager resources, a few weapons, and that is why I believe that lifting of the arms embargo, training of our uh, forces, and arming our forces would be an element of stability in the region.